Friday, November 19th, 2021, and the morning edition is live. On today's show, Kiwanis Club hosting a special meeting on the impact of COVID-19. The countdown is on to Disabilities Awareness Week, and an American visitor shares his unforgettable Bahamian experience. So let's start the morning off right. everyone and welcome to the morning edition i'm ladon davis and i'm in a good mood today because it's friday we have some singing in studio today yes I'm not you not you and i not no, you and i we have real singing this yeah morning. we have shalik johnson as she's going to be singing for us and then your your new friend is in yes, the house I this morning that's what i didn't even ask her name you didn't you didn't ask her no but her. But just she has such Marisha. a she just has a such I don't even know the word to use Marisha. to describe Marisha. 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 Yes. Marisha. Marisha. Yes. Such a voice that uh -huh. wanted me to go to church this morning. <laughs> I haven't been in quite some time, but she wanted me to go to church. So you ready for the weekend? Yes, I'm definitely ready. Definitely. I, I, I'm, definitely. I'm a little disturbed this morning though, because I, I I'm I'm gonna ask some parents, have you ever checked your kids' phone, right? And <laughs> you, you, you 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 see the name sometime that they have under you. My daughter left her phone home yesterday, so I was oh, calling geez. the phone to see where it was. When I rang her phone and I saw the name that came up, it says, Daddy the Grouch. <laughs> oh, so, Charlie. Uh, so she's not going to get any Christmas gifts? She was never, she, uh, uh, she's, she's getting a little bit of Christmas present now. <laughs> I was so, I was, I was hurried. Oh, so I, I didn't even sleep, <laughs> sleep good yesterday. And I, 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 I want to encourage you parents, please check your kids' phone. I, that, that really broke my heart yesterday. <laughs> Daddy the Grouch. Oh my so I want to see when a mom calls the phone now, what name shows up. Boy, I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have our trivia for you this morning, all sponsored by Janice. I was in Janice yesterday doing a little bit of Christmas mm -hmm. shopping. Mm -hmm. And we have a big something coming up next week, which Janice will be announcing. But let's put the question all up right. on the screen right now. Name three of Santa's reindeers. Names that begins with the letter D. And you could call them the number 502-3855. You have any guess? Dasher, Dancer, and me, oh, Donnie. Oh, I have Desmond. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have Desmond. <laughs> Call the numbers and, and you can get this nice uh, red balls to put on your Christmas tree. Desmond is one of Sanders' reindeer. Oh and we take it out to the streets where our Desmond Sanders is standing by. Good morning, Des. Well, Fisher and the Don, I know you guys are ready for the weekend, but before you get your weekend started, some very, very, very important traffic tips that I want to give you this morning uh, for, for motorists and pedestrians that are going to be traversing the streets heavy this weekend. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. I'm here live on the East-West Highway in Nassau, beautiful Nassau, Bahamas, and uh, no major traffic accidents to report. There were a total of nine accidents reported in 24 hours, eight accidents with minor damages, one with minor injury, eight hospitalized victims at the hospital. Constable Prince Jean Jr. joining me on the broadcast this morning. Still a major concern uh, for traffic police with these uh, number of reported accidents overnight. Yes, yes, it is a major concern. We, have, we still have persons uh, are driving distracted using their cell phone while driving. You have persons could open alcohol beverages in their vehicle while operating their motor vehicle. Uh, they tend to be intoxicated at times. And so uh, we must all be responsible for our actions and accountable because we have other road users out there who try to make it safe to their destination, but you know, other persons tend to, to stop them. So we, we, we advise the motorists to be responsible and, and be accountable for your actions. Now, I must admit, uh, I have a tendency at times to parking, no parking areas, uh, which is a very, well, it, it should not happen. And I admit, <laughs> but that is also a major concern for traffic police. You have persons parking in no parking zones, and that is very dangerous. Yes, it, it is very dangerous. It, it, it's, it's an obstruction to traffic because we, we place no parking signs in areas where, strategic areas, because 
most vehicles cannot pass. You have big loaded trucks, dump trucks who can't get through the corner. So we, we advise members of the public and road users to not park in those no parking zones because your vehicle can be damaged or you can damage somebody else's vehicle. So let's, let's try to be cautious and, and, and courteous to other persons on the road. Also, we cannot forget, and these are some traffic tips as we head into the weekend, placing valuable items in plain sight. Right? That, that is another major issue. Yes, it is a major issue. A lot of persons tend to go to these stores. Um, they leave their tablets and their phones on their car seats visible. That's a criminal element. You, you can't leave something for someone to see and they act on it. Because you can't leave your purse on, on, your, on your car seat. You need to go in the store to pay for your grocery. Mm -hmm. But like I'm saying, you, you, don't, you don't give the criminals something, a target to go for. You try to eliminate that criminal element. And as we head back to the studio, you have a major event, uh, traffic police, a major event this morning. Uh, talk about that. Yes, sir. Today is a sad day in the force. Uh, we are laying to rest on um, the late reserve ASP, Karen Nollett. She was one of the cyclists before my time. Uh, yeah, she is, she is very dear to us at traffic police station. Today we will be riding just for her. Right. Wow. And I want to cons uh, extend condolences to her family, and uh, my prayers are with you during this time of bereavement. The family, my prayers are with you during this time of bereavement. So that's what's happening here. Have a great, safe weekend. Be safe, everybody. Charles and Adon, back to you in the studio. All right, Philad, as we are waking up to a moist, unstable air mass over the northwest Bahamas that is generating scattered, concern of activity mainly over the northwest and central Bahamas through tonight. For the northwest and central Bahamas, we have a very cloudy and breezy with scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms throughout tonight. Showers could become heavy and thunderstorms strong to severe times. For the southeast Bahamas, we have a very cloudy and breezy with isolated showers and thunderstorms throughout tonight. The high temperature tonight, 82 for tonight, 70. We are waking up to 73 degrees, winds six south at six miles per hour, humidity 100%. Now, as we look ahead to the weekend, it's going to be a rainy weekend, so bring your umbrellas out on Saturday while the cloudy showers around the town. So 83 in the day, 70 at night, and then on Sunday, another rainy day especially early in the morning and then should pick up later on in the afternoon with some sun 82 in the day 73 at night the road to completion has been a long one, but after months of construction delays, Alice Town Bimini finally has a new government complex and one bearing the name of former parliamentarian and son of the soil, George Weish. Leading a ministerial delegation to that island for the ceremony on Thursday was Prime Minister the Honorable Philip Davis. The dedication and opening of this new government administration complex is much more than just a celebration of a building. It is the fulfillment of a dream, a dream that was seeded by the person whom the building will be named after. It is, as I said, the physical manifestation of a democratic ideal that citizens and residents should, should have access not just to their representative, and the formal branches of the government, but also to the essential services which are necessary to do business. As the government continues to assess the operations of various ministries and departments, there's a way to cut costs and return to the Treasury savings amounting to some $5 million. That's money spent renting spaces to house various agencies. Here's Minister of State for the Public Service, the Honorable Pia Glover Roll, on how they propose to make this happen. We are looking to disengage um, a number of buildings that we have in inventory that are unoccupied and leases are being paid. Um, that is, was an immediate exercise, and um, that encapsulated about four or five million dollars that we are looking to disengage. Um, again, I won't be personally visiting in some instances, but we do have a unit that's capable and competent that has an inspection uh, officer that is currently going and reviewing buildings across the country, and that, is, that isn't um, Nassau-centric, to analyze our buildings, the need. Bahamians and Turks Islanders called on to be tolerant and humane to Haitians, and by extension all migrants, even when they break the law. Anglican Bishop the Right Reverend Leish Boyd issuing that appeal during his charge on the opening night of the 118th session of the Synod. Mind you, 
do not get me wrong. The law must be respected and maintained, and no one should be allowed to break laws with impunity. However, and listen to this, the reality is that most of us have no idea of the conditions in Haiti and in other countries and the suffering and the hopelessness that causes tens of thousands of people to risk their lives and the lives of their children to find a better life. Two new Providence women now counted among those who have died from COVID-19. Health officials confirming that the 58-year-old died on September 11th and the 86-year-old on October 8th. The two deaths pushing the country's count to 671. Confirmed cases increasing by another 11 after two New Providence residents and an Abaconian tested positive for the virus. The national total count of COVID-19 cases now stands at 22,640. Hospitalizations are at 43 with nine of the patients in the intensive care unit. Meantime, nine people recovered from the virus on Wednesday. Everything is changing, and your favorite hardware and home improvement store is getting with the program. We Buy You Sell is rolling out its new online shopping feature. If you go to our website, wbusbahamas.com, it's a quick and easy three-step process. Step one, browse the gallery and select your item. Step two, add to cart. And step three, check out. Go to our website, wbusbahamas.com, to shop with us today. Shalom, I'm Arthur Bailey, Apostle and Overseer of Arthur Bailey Ministries and House of Israel International, inviting you to join us for Searching the Scriptures on this station every Sunday at 9 a.m. I look forward to Searching the Scriptures with you and your family. That's 9 a.m. on Sunday. Check it out, and your life will never be the same in Yeshua's name. COVID vaccinations for the country hover around nearly 40%. However, some would question how much more of the population needs to be vaccinated in order for the country to achieve herd immunity. It was a question posed to the Pan American Health Organization country representative Dr. Eldona Boyson. She was a guest speaker at the Kiwanis Club of Over the Hill meeting on Thursday night. So we don't know what that target is. I know the number 70% and 80% was bandied about initially. But that was a, a you know, a guesstimate, so to speak. But until we get to herd immunity, we won't actually know what that percentage is. The likelihood is that it's quite high, that it's about 95% or more, based on the other vaccine preventable diseases we know about. What is the timeline for that for the Bahamas? That, again, is hard to say. She also addressed whether or not fully vaccinated persons need to receive a booster shot, something she said the WHO and PAHO does not recommend. For most persons, two doses will give you full immunity, or with the Johnson & Johnson, one dose will give you full immunity. But we have found, and we're learning, we're still learning about this virus, we have found that there are some people who do not have a strong immune system. Persons with HIV, uh, with cancer, and other uh, diseases that cause your immune system to be deficient. Mm -hmm. These persons do not get the same immune response in their body with just two doses. They need a third one, or with Johnson & Johnson, a second one, just to get them up to the level of immunity that the rest of us can get up to with two doses. So WHO and PAHO, we're recommending a third dose for those people so that they can be fully vaccinated. Why are we not recommending boosters? At this point in time, there's no evidence to suggest that persons who have been fully vaccinated have waning immunity. It's an occasion celebrated with activities all November long, but next week we'll finally make it official. This as the Ministry of Social Services in conjunction with non-governmental organizations for the disabled are teaming up to observe National Disability Awareness Week. 
The week seeks to bring greater awareness to the challenges faced by those who are disabled while encouraging societal integration. The week kicks off on November 27th and will be observed until the 4th of December. While the same theme selected by the international community is usually adopted, the planning committee selected its own theme this year, which is inclusion for all, denoting its strong desire to change the status quo and to advocate for change. The challenges persons with disabilities face are many. And as this ministry responsi is responsible for advancing their cause, we do intend to do our part to bring about resolutions. A big part of the activities is geared towards making the events accessible to family islanders. Here's the project manager for Disabilities Awareness Week, Kendrick Roll. And as the week continues, there will be a number of activities and events held virtually to involve the participation of residents with disabilities on the family islands. Highlights of the week include the Disability Awareness Walk and Motorcades, which will be held on Saturday, November the 27th at 9 a.m., starting and ending at the Stapleton School on Dolphin Drive. On Sunday the 28th, we will have our recognition church service at Living Waters Kingdom Ministries. Call them adopted Bahamians. Chris Cameron and his family have been coming to the Bahamas for the last 10 years. And with the Battle for Atlantis basketball tournament scheduled to tip off again on Saturday, he's back. For Thanksgiving, just my family and I back in 2011. And I was over at the fitness center and I was in the locker room and Andre Drummond, who plays in the NBA now, who went to UConn, they were there working out as a team in the fitness center lifting. And I said, what are you guys? They're six foot ten. So what are you guys doing here? He said, we're here for this tournament. And I was like, what tournament? You know, I know Maui was going on and stuff. And I was like, hmm. And he told me. And I said, okay. So we, we came down and we saw part of it. And then we watched the rest of it on TV. So then the following year, we said, hey, we need a plan for this because they're going to have a tournament now. So my daughters were in college, we came down for Thanksgiving, went to the tournament, and it became a family tradition where they brought friends and boyfriends, now husbands. We decided to expand it. We don't come just for Thanksgiving, we come for three weeks. So we've been here a week already. We usually come right after Veterans Day, and we fly down, we get ready, we get acclimated, we get ready for the tournament, we see all everybody we know, and then, uh, and then we stay a week after the tournament. <laughs> Last year's tournament canceled due to the pandemic. He had to find something new to do. It was kind of sad, you know. In fact, we, my wife and I kind of laughed because we had not been home for Thanksgiving in nearly 12 years. So we were by ourselves and we were like, we haven't cooked a Thanksgiving dinner in 12 years. So it was kind of fun, kind of unusual to you know, have a turkey and a ham and things like that. But that's what we did. His kids have now started their own family. So now it's just him and his wife. Well, at first it was you know, a family tradition. It was nice. It was easy. The girl, my daughters liked it. My wife likes it. And we still love it. We still like coming down here. It's, it's the Bahamian people are friendly. We've got lots of friends now. We've gone to weddings here of people that we know, and uh, it's just something that we like to do. And he is already booked for 2022. Once this thing wraps up, and I always, as kind of a kick, I go down and uh, see the bleachers and the court turn, because we're the only, everybody else is gone. The fans are gone, the teams are gone, everybody's gone from the resort. So my wife and I, we walk down there and we watch everybody tear everything apart and say, okay, see you next year. <laughs> And as we head to the break, we take a look back at today in Bahamian history. On November 19, 1970, Member of Parliament for Camps Bay, Lyndon Penling, emerged from an 11-hour House debate still holding the post of Prime Minister. He had narrowly survived a no-confidence vote tabled by Labour leader Randall Fox. Also on November 19, 1998, Dr. Leon Higgs was sworn in as the second president and fifth head of the College of the Bahamas.
Throughout our lifetime, we must all make decisions. No matter how we choose, the right one just needs to be made. Like having J.S. Johnson Insurance Agents and Brokers as your insurance partner. We've been serving the Bahamas for over 100 years. Whether you need home, motor, marine, or commercial insurance, make the right decision. Call 397-2100 or visit jsjohnson.com. J.S.C. 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 Johnson Insurance. As an artist, I travel all over the world and I find inspiration all around me, in the people and especially the environment. I love the Bahamas with all its natural beauty, from Abaco in the north to Inagua in the south and all the wonderful and colorful islands in between. But we must all do our part to keep the Bahamas healthy and clean, now and for the future generations. That's why I want you to find a little time to do your part. I'm doing my part because I care. Do you? For sure, we're doing things a little differently this uh, Entertainment Friday. We're going to pay tribute to our colleagues who well, lost been a, loved it's, ones. It's been this a rough year. two years, just about everybody in the country. You know a lot of persons have lost loved mm -hmm. ones, especially at the Broadcasting Corporation mm -hmm. of Mamas. Ashley Taylor losing his dad, Keisha Smith recently losing her mom, Fern Carey also mm -hmm. losing her, her, her dad a few weeks ago, Desmond Sanders losing his dad a few mm -hmm. weeks ago. Mm -hmm. It's been tough and we've kept, we've kept them in our prayers and we have a special for them this morning. Yes, we have our very own Shalik Johnson. She's going to sing a song of inspiration uh, for our colleagues. So, so I guess we, we don't have that we, yet. Yeah, but so yeah, it's so been a rough and I'd just like to <sighs> say everybody to please be safe out mm -hmm. there. Uh, families, everything, especially mm -hmm. as we go into this Thanksgiving and, and into going, Christmas, because, holiday, into Christmas yeah. families, everything. Make sure that even if you don't get along with them, just call or text them every day to say, "Hey, hello, how are you doing? Mine is on mm -hmm. you. We may not talk mm -hmm. as often as we can. Yes, we uh, never know. We we never are, know. And we are here at the Broadcasting Corporation as well. We are family, so it's good that we we, we do the same thing here as well. For sure, I don't know, but we need to continue to pray so that all of us can make it into 2022. We have to do that. Are we ready for that this year? COVID-19 is really a wreaking havoc on families, not only here in, in New Providence, but around our family of islands. Um, I don't know if you've traveled yet, but no, I, I'm excited I'm, I'm, to travel. I'm, I'm really uh, scared to travel. You I, are? I normally take Christmas and me and the family and I, we spend Christmas away, but we didn't do it last year. Mm -hmm. We're not going to do it this year. We're going to be here. We, I might want to hit a family island just to heal of some family members. But I, I, I'm just, I just, I just was relaxed. I was on vacation. I didn't go anywhere. Uh -huh. The curfew was lifted. I still wow. stayed home until uh, didn't go nowhere. You? Nine o'clock. I was home. Eight o'clock. Was home. So the guy who loves to be everywhere yeah, well, I, just I, stayed I home. home. Wow. So, so also, before we get things underway, we take a break and be right back. All right. Keep it locked. Ever since the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom suffered violence. Violence took it by storm, calling the afflicted, calling all souls in despair. Welcome to the voice of Deliverance Telecast, from the ministry that is reaching out all over the land, delivering souls and changing lives. The voice of Deliverance. Don't cry for me. 
No one is the blame, no. My death was meant to be. Don't carry guilt or shame. The reason why I came soon you'll see. Don't cry for me. Don't shame. From one beautiful singer to another, Marisha is joining us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Not awkward at all. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you singing for us this morning? Um, I'm actually singing a song that a fellow um, Bahamian gospel artist of mine, his name is Iman, he wrote this song actually last year in mm. the middle of the pandemic. And so we came together and... Um, yeah, I'm officially releasing it next week, and so I'm here to introduce it. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, what can I say? Um, singing, I've been doing it for a very long time. And um, the last time I was here, LaDawn, I don't know if you remember, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was actually supposed to go on a tour in, in the UK, mm -hmm. um, but then the pandemic came. Mm -hmm, I was mm -hmm. supposed to be releasing this album in the UK. So unfortunately, that did not happen, but God does all things well. So getting ready to release it here, I'm heavily involved in youth ministry, was recently awarded the National Youth Ally Award um, from the Ministry of Youth. And um, I love God and I enjoy singing. So that's a little bit about me. So viewers, I'm not bragging, but you're gonna be blessed. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Kind of brave you are. Get on without question well, to save me. My night. We give you glory and all the honor. You are the great I am. Mighty in battle. Mighty in battle. Awesome, awesome in power. Creation sits in your hands. Say we give you glory and all the honor. You are mighty in battle, awesome in power. Creation sees you.
loving church awesome. here this awesome. morning. <laughs> we have it, hallelujah, yeah. hallelujah. <laughs> well, we get, as we, before we exit out here, we know we have our trivia answer. Wow. Name three of Santa's reindeer. The answers, <laughs> Dancer, Dasha, and Donna. Do you remember them? <laughs> and the winner this morning is Tracy Nemore. The winner. Congratulations, this, congratulations Tracy. to Tracy Nemore. Also, like to say a special happy birthday to one of our best viewers, mm -hmm. Devon Seymour. He'll be celebrating a birthday tomorrow. Happy, happy birthday. birthday to happy you. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Devon. All right. So you're gonna you're gonna carry us out of here with a, something. To say? Some, something oh. that's spiritual, oh, inspirational. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, they can Go just ahead. bring it back up. Go I'll ahead. do it again. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome in power, creation sits in your hands. Say we give and all the honor, 